I'm Susan, and today I'm going to be inoculating some logs with uh, lion's mane mushroom spawn. So, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on some sugar maple, uh, which I have here, some sugar maple logs. I have cut them into a couple of sections, uh, as you can see. Different kinds of mushrooms thrive on different kinds of wood. Lion's mane mushrooms um, are said to grow well on sugar maple, and I've seen that they also might do well on beech. Then the jury is kind of out on these other woods, uh, but one of the other woods mentioned is hackberry. I've seen people say they grow fine on hackberry and others that say they don't. But as it happens, I also got my hands on some nice hackberry logs. So if I have enough left over, uh, enough of this spawn left over after I um, try to colonize these sugar maple logs, then I will I'll go ahead and try the hackberry. Uh, because it was just going to be firewood for somebody and um, I would be really excited to find out if my experiment works. Some other wood types that are said to sometimes work okay for lion's mane, mulberry, oak, aspen, um, even walnut and hornbeam. I have seen people make reference that that could work. But at the same time, I've, I've seen other folks just say, stick with sugar maple and stick with beech. So you may have noticed that I have my mushroom totems up off of the ground. They're actually elevated. Um, I prepared this area. I laid down some cardboard. I put down a tarp. Then I put down a couple of pallets. Yeah, I want to make sure that the um, fungi that I'm inoculating my logs with uh, are what win out rather than competing with something mysterious that's in the soil. These logs were recently cut. Um, they're from a, a living tree. They have uh, been aged a couple of weeks. I've kept them moist and wrapped in, loosely wrapped in plastic and up off of the ground. Um, I ordered my uh, lion's mane spawn, which I have here. It has been in the refrigerator uh, for a little bit. You can see that mycelium it smells neat. It's, it's been growing on, um, I think this is maybe sawdust and millet mixed up, but I am just very carefully trying to keep as much of it on my wood log part as I can, or at least staying inside the bag. All right, so we've got the spawn on this log. We have put this piece back in place. And now, we'll put some more spawn on top of this one. There's a lot of nice mycelium here. So we're trying to press it down, have it make good contact with the wood. But this top back on. Try and smash that down. Keep as much of the spawn in place as possible. And then we will loosely cover this with plastic. I actually have more than one bag for this one, just because it's a little bit tall. That's pretty much that. 
we'll wait several months and hopefully we'll have some lion's mane mushrooms eventually as this uh, gets colonized.